beats past and this would have been moon salutations I will give you a little sample I'll run through a couple of them um, one on each side now <laughs> granted once again not warm uh, let's turn some cool lighting I think it's a little better okay moon salutations are more along the lines of okay so we have sun salutations and moon salutations sun salutations are very much paying homage or getting strength energy from the sun which kind of alludes to the sympathetic nervous system so if we're dealing with moon salutations we're um, we're tapping into more uh, the parasympathetic nervous system so that's going to go along the lines with emotions of vulnerability and and um, openness and uh, more, um, I guess, the feminine, right? If we had the masculine and the feminine. Um, so it's just different. Uh, I personally have found a great deal of solace um, in these moon salutations. So I'll just walk um, through giving a little sample um, when it's on the schedule. Um, if anybody knows of a um, camera that I can plug into the computer to be able to back this whole thing up and that way you can see my arms up overhead, go ahead and put it in the comments because that'd be great. All right, so we start a little bit of breathing, shoulders down and back. Um, I, my mountain pose, my feet are always apart. I, I do not find it necessary to like squeeze those suckers together. I can get engagement in the inner thighs without needing to have them touch. Take the arms up overhead, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, hands just down to the heart center, inhale. This also adds in some nods, getting some tension out of the neck, inhale. Weights in the heels, inner thighs are engaged. All right, this one. Why don't we keep the arms up overhead? I know you can't see my arms, but I'm interlacing the fingers, releasing the index fingers. Bump the hips over to the left, upper body over to the right. So in half moon, this is the first one. It is not going to be super deep. There's no expectation of it being deep. Neck is long, although the arms are squeezing by the ears. Check the weight. Shift it back into the heels. Make sure your inner butt muscles are engaged. Hips bumping to the left. Nice engagement on the right, stretching on the left. Inhale, come back up. Maybe switch the grip of the hands, lengthen up and out. And exhale, bump over to the right. And upper body goes over to the left. Now you want to go through that same little checklist. Weight in the heels. The knees are not locked out. That might be a double, double negative, I'm not quite sure. Another inhale, lengthen, and the exhale, really bump the hip over. Inhale, come back up. On this inhale, your exhale is stepping out into goddess pose. Toes are out, heels are in. Arms start what we call a cactus or gold post arms, and we hold. Trying to find the pinky toes. Shoulders away from the ears, bellies pulled in. Lengthen the legs, turn the toes towards the right. Shift the upper body, right arm down, left arm up. Straight leg, triangle, Trikonasana. Eye gazes up. Start from the ground up, press through the ball of the right foot. Let the quad engage. Bump the left hip behind you. Chin is slightly tucked, although you're looking up to the sky. 
Bellies pulled in as much as possible. Close the gate. Slowly rotate. Left hand comes down. Right hand comes down. I like to readjust my feet. Separate leg stretching, forehead to knee. Rounding the back. Forehead coming to the knee. Now you can bend your knee. Right fore, um, right fist on the knee in order to make a connection. Getting a stretch all the way down the back side of the body because we're engaging the front side of the body. Gently let that go. Take both hands down to the mat. Step back to where the left knee drops. Arms come up overhead. And I always call this a baby warrior. You know, there's lots of words for this one. Um, modified crescent, getting level hips, gate still closed. If you let the gate fall open, lower back could potentially be um, tweaked. So we wanna make sure it's good and protected. Left butt cheek is engaged. Take the hands down to the mat, to the inside of the right foot. Walk the right foot over to the right, lift the left knee. Now you don't have to lift the left knee. That's the beauty of this, right? We're gonna find where we are. Twist the elbows back, your belly's in. Call this a lizard lunge, right? Lots of opportunities, different places to take this. You can take your left arm or your right arm out in front. Um, you can take your toes off the mat. That's kind of where I end up going. Slowly inhale, rotate onto the ball of the right foot. Right hand to the inside of the leg, left arm up to the sky. Now this is a twist and it's at the rib cage. Hips are actually remaining square to the side of the mat. Chest is open, chin is slightly tucked. Left toes are pulled back. Gently lower the left hand down. Now I like to slide my left heel in to kind of spider walk to the center for Malanasana. This sometimes will be really narrow, sometimes it'll be a little wider. This is a where you are and your first one's always going to be like you're at the grocery store and you're finding level one right where you're like kind of like okay what's down there right structurally it's not super awesome I'm just trying to figure out where the hips are hands go back down and if you slide the right foot out now you're back in lunge other side ball of the left foot or you can have your heel all the way down i do not have that kind of flexion yet in my left ankle. You might. Right arms up to the sky. The breath is slow, tangible. Use the left arm to open the left knee. Pull the belly in, lower the left, right hand down, lift the hips up and rotate left foot out to the left hands underneath the shoulders and this is back to the lizard you can always pull the left knee in pressing against the outside of the left arm you can set your knee down right wherever you need to go keeping the hips level i'm going to do the same thing i did on the other side i opened left my heel on the mat took my toes off the mat Lower the right knee down, take the arms up overhead, and back into that little, little baby warrior. Right butt cheek, squeeze that sucker. Maybe even the top of the shin, top of the foot is pressing down. Gorgeous stretch through the hip, chest is opening. Take the hands down to the mat flip to the ball of the right foot, lift the hips directly up and back, separate leg stretching forehead to knee. Leave the left knee bent, right? You can make a fist, squaring the hips. Most of the time, it'll be right hip down and forward, left hip up and back. Belly's pulled in, get the gate closed.
deep breath in and deep breath out. Start to walk the hands. I'm gonna rotate my right foot out and back a little and slowly come into Trikonasana on the left side. My right foot is sliding. Ooh. Ooh. Ball of the left foot. I'm sure that doesn't look too awesome. It's okay. Ooh. And slowly come up. Toes out, heels in. And back to goddess pose. Now in this asana, we want to try to find our butt cheeks, right? Outside of the hip, pull the knees back. Then slowly slide the arms together, top of the mat. Interlace the hands, lift up and out, bump the hip over to the left, upper body over to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hip over to the right, upper body over to the left. Inhale, back up, exhale, step out into goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the arms out, reposition the feet, shift forward, left arm down, right arm up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, rotate, right hand down. I readjust my back foot, separate leg stretching, forehead to knee. Gently lift up through the chest, set the right foot down, arms come up overhead, lengthening to the sky. Slowly lower the arms back down, hinging, left foot over to the left, lizard. Finding an openness through the left hip, stretching through the right, that means your right butt cheek is totally engaged. Pull the belly in, rotate. Ball of the left foot, right heel down, right toes up to the sky, right arm up to the sky. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, right hand down, pull the right heel in. Go back to Malanasana. Maybe you find like your second level, right? You're, you're down here getting the stuff on the bottom shelf and you lift up and you're on the second shelf from the bottom. You're finding length, maybe rocking back and forth. Deep inhale and exhale. Hands back down to the mat. I'm gonna allow myself to slide the left heel out. Right arm down, left arm up to the sky. Ooh, I can get a little bit more of a twist there. Left hand down, lift the hips up. Lizard lunge. Hands right underneath the shoulder. I'm twisting the elbows behind me. Left butt cheek squeezing, chest is lifted, chin slightly tucked, right? We want to keep the cervical spine good and long. Gently lower down to the left knee, arms come up overhead. Top of the left leg, shin, engaging the left butt cheek, gates closed. Hands down to the mat, foot to the Ball of the left foot, slide it in, forehead to knee, connection. Inhale. And exhale, potentially readjusting the feet, opening the hips, and coming into straight leg triangle. Good old fashioned hinge. Inhale, come back up, both toes out. Goddess pose. Inhale. Arms come up overhead. And then we repeat that over and over again. Just back and forth. And during those, I start to add in maybe a, a side twist to the outside on our crescent lunge or something along those lines. 
this is a series that you might not think right you can do, um, but you can, right? There's hard stuff in it. It's about moving. It's about getting the joints um, available. Okay? We fall off curbs and break our ankle because our body doesn't know how to participate with other parts of our body. That's where we want to get to. Okay, so that was a little sample of when you see on the schedule moon salutations, and they're fun, I promise. Um, Okay, um, the next one, um, I'll do a little tidbit about mobility um, on the next one. All right. <laughs>